doesn't have any farming happening. Although, these are pretty bad tiles for exploiting farms. I think I'll build a farm here, because at least it's a three food tile, so we'll exploit a little bit more. Although we're already getting some of this benefit, so it's only, it's barely adding any. Uh, maybe granary, right? Because it's just flat out food per farmer. Yeah, let's run that. Okay. A melody for every occasion. In the teeming, iconic city of Memphis, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history and holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, and courage uh, to marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing that their city deserves such artists too. How can you satisfy them? Listen, I have an idea. Let's make some sort of competition to find the best musical artists. Uh, we could call it, so we're in Egypt, we'll call it something like Egypt Vision, right? Egypt Vision. And we can have every, every territory in Egypt, and also Australia, because that totally makes a lot of sense, send their best performers. And then we can have a big thing, and we could vote on who the best one is, right? Egypt Vision. So, I can muster... Street Musicians. Uh, this for 10 turns will give us money but cost us science. Or we could build. This will cost us 60 money, but we'll get 10 industry for 10 turns. This seems like the thing to do. Pharaoh Vision. Pharaoh Vision actually sounds better. You're right. Sounds more like Eurovision. Alright, so we're going after Knock over here. Alright. Yeah, we can also maintain. So, well, we don't have siege engines. So no, we'll we'll go ahead and assault. Anyway, I'll go manual battle, but then I'll automate it, so we can actually see the action. But in the interest of time, automatic battle is a good. Rah! But like the terrain that we fight on and what our initial layout is, does things. Our archers are on the high ground, absolutely slaughtering the people down below. They have their own archers too. Oh, we're going to lose this guy. Maybe. We did lose a unit. We probably could have avoided that if we were playing it completely manually. Lose more? Actually, I'm not sure. I think, no, I think that was someone else who moved in there. No, we did lose... Battle will continue next turn. I believe the tactical battle can only go five rounds, and then it has to continue literally the next game turn. We actually, I think we could throw reinforcements into it as well. Yeah, I mean, we, we wouldn't want to auto battle normally, but we don't have that much time left, and I wanted to advance, and I assumed we were going to win. There we go, we did win! Victory! Uh, we lost both our warriors. That's what they get for, like, going up and trying to hit people with sticks. Shoot them from a distance with sticks. Much better. Uh, Nash is converted to a new religion. Hooray, hurrah. And we do have a new city. Unfortunately, we, that puts us over our city cap. So, it wasn't literally the smartest thing to do. We probably should have just been buddies with them. Uh, can we downgrade this back to just an outpost? Because that, you know, could be something useful. Pacifism and pacify. But yeah, um, this is uh, less than ideal. Uh, your empire will suffer a penalty of 30 influence per turn. So we're not getting very much influence anymore because we're above the city cap. But that's actually okay. We've got some influence to spare. I mean, it'll interfere with our ability to merge things, but that's actually not so bad. Uh, you have no population here, uh, so that'll have to grow. We could start a project. We may as well start a project. Let's get um, let's get uh, flood irrigation because you are next to a river over here. You get a little bit more food. You'll grow a little bit faster, and that'll presumably be okay. What is... She wants a non-aggression pact. Now she wants one. You know what? That's fine. With great discomfort, I accept your terms. Now go. Very dismissive. This is wonderful. I'm so pleased. 
think the uh, the volume might have to be rebalanced between the two because my character is much quieter than she is. When I say is it with great discomfort, I accept this agreement. Now go. Thank you. Like I didn't, I didn't really want the non-aggression pack because I don't like you because you've offended me, you've bothered me. But I guess, I guess it makes sense. We have to go for it. But I'm not pleased, and that's kind of accurate. It's like. <sighs> I guess a non-aggression pact is the thing that makes sense, even though I'm kind of salty at the same time. Bronze working reached. Aristar! Hey, we can go to the next one. Resources sold. We got the non-aggression pact, so like we're we're cool now and we're back trading with each other. Everything's fine. Idle army over here. I might put you back in the borders of things. I don't know. I don't trust you. Um, why don't you... Yeah, let's regroup. Station until healed. So let's do that. Memphis can use some more production. Um, we'll just... Yeah, we'll run the flood irrigation. That's going to be fine. Melody for every occasion. Euphony. Euphony. Music is sacred art, only to be performed by those with the requisite learning. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get writing, but the big thing is, yes, we can enter a new era. Let's do that now. So we can stop being Egyptian. We can, we can transcend. We can stay Egyptians, which will give us more fame. But if we go and choose a new culture, we'll gain access to some new stuff, a new building we can build. So we'll no longer be able to build the pyramids, but we get new buildings. We also get somewhat more powerful units. So the Akusamites, the Greeks... Cratic method, uh, researchers in the city and outposts, so we get a lot more science. We can build the amphitheatron influence. Well, we already sort of did that, although more science. And this is per era at the scale up. We gain access to the hoplite units. Maybe we should do this so that we can have a more powerful uh, range. Although the thing is, um, so we never got around to building um, any of our horse-based units. So we might not want to. We might want to stay as Egyptian. I could also just delay it. Right? We'd be like, hold on, let me build a couple of our, our horse units first, and then we'll go and uh, flip to something else. Uh, Carthaginians, we get the Kothon, we get district strength, so defenses like for, um, or fortification for like when someone's attacking our city. Uh, buyout cost goes half, so when we spend gold to buy stuff, it gets accelerated. We also get war elephants, which is fun. The Celts become Goths. I think that's what we did last time. Because it was kind of funny. The Huns. Ordu automatically upgrades regular outposts. Cannot be attached to cities. Oh. The Maya. So industry on districts producing industry. We do have districts that produce industry. So the Maya would actually combo fairly well with the districts we've built. This would actually be pretty huge. And we get access to Javelineers. Uh, the Persians. Plus two city cap. Yeah, okay. Someone said this would be useful right away. 100%. Let's do that. Absolutely. We're going to adopt this. Razor City Cap. What's the Roman bonus? Plus one unit slot available for each army. Oh, that's not quite cool. Because right now we have four units per army. This would give us five units per army. Oh, yes. My outfit should change. All right, not bad. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as covered. Choose based on fashion alone. That has happened in our previous runs. To control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability. I think what it is, it's the robe and then the loose parts of it were brought around to the front and put through a hoop. This extra bit of material. Yeah, some of the looks of our cities and things will change. I think that's what it's sort of showing here. You wondered me, claim. And those distinguished monuments of 40 centuries look upon you. <gasps> Build a new cultural wonder. Select any cultural wonder to see its details and possible claim the right to construction. Where's the Petra? M maybe it'll be in another era. I don't know. Um, Colossus of Rhodes gives us stability, fame. Oh, they're all going to give us fame. 
Um, the Lighthouse of Alexandria gives us stability and vision. Vision height, vision range, so we can see over hills and things like that. Uh, Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, plus 1% science per district on a city or outpost. Statue of Zeus, tons more stability, plus some faith and money. Pyramid of Giza, I mean, we're not Egypt anymore, but, you know. Um, district industry cost by 25. Oh, so it's cheaper to build more districts. Hang Gardens of Babylon. Uh, extract any luxury resource from the deposit it's built on. So it must be built on a luxury deposit. Aha. But it doesn't seem like it gives us as much. Maybe it's cheaper to build. Stonehenge. Food per, per co-religion estates. That's not a word I'm like, often familiar with. What do we want to build? Temple of Artemis. Temple of Artemis is considered, counts as a holy site, but doesn't count towards the holy site cap. Yeah, so there's a bunch, oh. Okay, Stonehenge also counts as a holy site, but doesn't even count as a cap. More stability. Mm -hmm. Will your avatar and voice persona be in the full game? Oh no, I mean they yeah they didn't do this for just the beta. This is for the full game. If you build Giza, you'll have a fifty percent district production cost. Oh, that is really cheap. Naval unit boost. Moving penalties from forest health regen. Petromids. I want to build the pyramids. You know, just because it'll, uh... Oh, it costs us 250 influence, but... Yeah, no, I'm gonna do it. Um, just because it'll remind us of our past. So we will claim that, and we'll then be able to attempt to build it. Once Cultural Wonder is claimed, you cannot cancel your choice. Its construction has to be completed before you claim another one. Done. And yeah, um, we can see the wonders that are available currently over here. We could start building the pyramids. Let's do it. Um, wait, wait. Must be placed next to a river. Oh, that's... I thought this blue line was a river, but it's the edge of my border here. We'll build it over here. And again, it, I wonder if production is shared, so any city can help. Let's put it here. It's a cool scenic view. Done. And yeah, we don't have to care about building it in the, the um, most productive city because it's a shared production. All of our cities will be able to help. Which is an awesome mechanic. Uh, this army is fully healed. That's great. I'm not sending them down to, like, Nash. I kind of want to be near the border of these neighbors here who've started some stuff before. Let's help out building the pyramids. Excellent. So now only going to take eight turns instead of, I think, 19 originally. The descendants of kings? A filthy, wretched man has come to your empire, claiming to be a descendant of one of the ancient rulers of Nock, the city we just conquered. Without fear, in front of your whole court, he boldly tells you that his people are owed great restitution for the grave offenses you carried out against his ancestors. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Nock has always been a part of Egypt, Persia. We've always been at war with Eurasia. However, he is willing to forego his redress on condition you fill a divine prophecy and let him lead Nock. He promises that fulfilling the prophecy will see riches come to the city. Deny him. And he promises to bring war or famine to your empire. What is your choice? Redress. Restitution will be shared among all the descendants who may bravely fight in your armies, so we get a speed boost for 10 turns. A seed. To talk of prophecies will hamper rational thought, but commerce will flourish. Get more money per turn, loose. Uh, and. This doesn't match the description. I'm suspect it's supposed to give us minus science and plus money, but it's giving us plus on both. Or we could belittle him and gain celebration in Memphis, so for 15 turns we get more stability in Memphis. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one because I think it's potentially a little bit broke. Boop! Done. Yeah, and this is a this is a beta. We're still two months away from the game release. Two months and five days. So we're gonna the stream is supposed to be over at this point. We're gonna go until we finish the pyramids, because I wanna see that. The flooded lands! 
The unrelenting deluge of a rainfall lashes down upon the great city of Thebes and the surrounding lands. If the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters. With limited time and resources, the choices are stark. Winter is coming. No, wait, wrong stark. What do you do? Um, so, we could gamble. Oh, it'll be fine. We could adapt. It'll cost us 60 gold. Limit adaptations. Limited adaptations should mitigate the biggest risk, and the rains might not relent in any case. Or we can protect. He attack, he defend, but also he protect. That's not how the meme goes. Uh, expensive dike around Thebes will ensure the city's protected from any flood threats. This also boosts up towards progress, which is more science. Uh, this would boost economic access towards collectivism uh, or economic access towards individualism. Let's protect. Let's hardcore. We can move there. People want to gamble. Don't want to gamble with my citizens' lives. At least, not, not this time. I'm just going to hang out here in Nash. Or, um, I do have influence. I could go and claim some more territory. Maybe it's time to do that. There are trade routes that move through here, I think, is what's going on. Yeah, we can found an outpost over here. Or I could claim, you know, something adjacent. But there's, like, various resources that are going to be in here. 22. I'm hoping... Ooh, that's a 26 tile. Some sometimes you get a, a tooltip for some of this that highlights areas, and sometimes you don't. I don't know what the um, the difference is. Let's go and see about claiming that area. They haven't done anything naval yet. Which there's even like a little island over here we could settle. Olmecs have reached the classical era with the Huns! I guess I could just put you on auto export. No, I want to keep you near here. Um, just, uh, tell you what, just station over here. The flooded lands. Fortune favors you. The skies above Thebes grew darker and darker, the deluge like a sea being tipped upon a city. But then suddenly the clouds parted and the rains relented. Days of sunshine followed and the threat of flood are no more. Lucky, the ground is a little wetter. People will not forget but otherwise, life is normal again. So, maybe we didn't need to spend the money, and we would have been fine. Yes, civics. New civic has unlocked leadership choice over here. Uh, small council versus autark. So, handful of the wisest heads will give good counsel. Um, this will move us towards liberty. Plus one city cap. Oh, way we get plus one city cap. Uh, or autark. The absolute will of the leader should not be diluted, which moves us to more towards authority over here. So, if we move all the way to authority... Uh, plus four turns before converted by other influence on territory. If we go um, Liberty, then we get more influence for territory. Guys just got in. Sight back. One's unique unit is really good. Well, I think we might. what we might do is maybe we'll stream this on Wednesday. I think we might stream this on Wednesday, you guys. Let's go small council. Okay, I'm done. Don't we have limited slots for this? Maybe they changed that. There used to be a, a limit to how many civics you could run. But maybe they just changed that. Maybe there didn't used to be an influence cost. So they made this cost influence instead of having limited slots. I'm wondering if that's the case. Yeah, I think this changed. So I would have enacted more of these sooner. Well, I mean, we need the points for all kinds of things. I don't know. Sinians reached the classical era with Maya. We have researched ridding. Congratulations to us, we can rit real well. Oh yeah, wheel. It creates roads between your cities and outposts. That's really handy. So I just want to build the pyramids, and then we're going to end the stream. But then continue it on Wednesday? Instead of Vicky? Yeah, there used to be a civic point system. Yeah, they changed it. We got the Estate Star. See, so yeah, again, we need to get more era stars to progress to the next era again. Ooh, wait. Thebes is shrinking? What I might want to do is just tell you to focus on city growth, um, which interestingly put you in there. Oh, you're going to grow in one turn regardless. That's probably why you're not doing it. But let's have you focus on city growth. I kind of feel like a city growth focus is kind of nice everywhere. I don't know. Tech and things is good too, but more population is good, but production is good. 
Hey, we built a wonder! World deed! We got some fame. Fame. I'm gonna live forever. Pyramid of Giza has been constructed. And Slusen Swalosen converted to cats are awesome. Damn right they did. That is really pretty. And then we've got our holy site right over here. That is really, really lovely. Satrap's Palace. So this is our unique building for our current culture, the Persians. So it exploits money, which we don't have that on any tile over there. But I guess that's going to be pretty unlikely. Still, um, let's build it here, because it's only going to waste one food, which isn't a really big deal. Influence per adjacent district. Man, i got to put in so much more time thinking about how I want to lay things out. Um, you know what? I'm going to get the public fountain going on here first, because in Memphis, the stability isn't, like, infinitely high anyway. We'll just get an extra buffer in there. So maybe what I should do is I should put a palace down here and just make sure there's a lot of districts around it. Oh, I can build a copper mine. Hold on. Let's get that. That's going to be pretty relevant. Because then we can start building spearmen. Okay. Uh, I am going to wrap this up now. Uh, this place is pretty desperate for food. We're going to get a uh, farmer's quarters over here. We're going to wrap this up now. And I think we might continue it on Wednesday this week instead of Victoria 2. Stay tuned for more announcements and things. Um, actually, let me check my schedule this week. There may already be stuff for that day. One, one second. So yes, never mind. Never mind that. Um, Wednesday is going to be something different already. We'll figure it out. Tomorrow we, tomorrow we are going to play some uh, Motorsport Manager as our never normal schedule. Um, Wednesday is going to be something else. We will stream a little bit more of it. I believe Amplitude themselves are going to be streaming on Thursday, so if you're missing any drops, you can tune in over there. Uh, do make sure to follow if you are new to the channel. So we stream at least three days a week. I'm killing time because some people are saying they're like nearly at the next drop point. So I'm just trying to like fill a little bit of extra time so people can get that drop. Um, we do st yeah, stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. A uh, variety of different strategy games all the time. I, I will do more of this. Uh, maybe we'll do some more bonus streams. I don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, you can watch on, on Twitter. I'll announce things generally there. If you do subscribe to the channel as well, there is a subscriber-only Discord channel. Information down below about how you can join in on that um, for some info. We'll figure out what the streams are going to be this week. I will stream more Humankind this week. I 100% guarantee it. Uh, I'll just have to figure out what days are going to be what. Go to the bathroom, leave the stream on. Uh, just AFK drop stream. Um, and yeah, other than that, keep an eye on the Humankind category and see who else is running with drops enabled. Uh, because then you can get their avatars too, maybe, if they're, uh, if they're a streamer that is included in the game. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Thanks, everyone, who came out. We got a lot of people in today. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some game. Maybe maybe we just do this tomorrow. You know what? Let's just do this tomorrow. Not Motorsport Manager. Tomorrow, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, is going to be a continuation of Humankind as opposed to Motorsport Manager this week. That's what we're going to do. I like it. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone.